Serif is basically a typographic term that's about this slight projection that gives an otherwise neutral letter form its distinct identity and new ones, basically. It's a very neutral space, very pragmatic planning, but what we layer on would be the materials, colours, textures and beautiful objects. Hi, I'm Dennis, Creative Director from Upstairs. And I'm Mark, Director of Project and Strategies at Upstairs. And we're part of the design team behind this apartment called the Serif Apartment. How we interpret Serif is to add a little details to the space, just like the font itself. And we add elegance to the space through the similar way of approach. The original layout was very cookie cutter just didn't maximize the usage of the spaces nor suit the homeowner's needs. We want to offer something better, but not at the extent of redoing everything. Today's video is brought to you by Samsung. Over at Stacked, we're all about creating a good video as well as good design. So when Samsung sent over the Smart Monitor M8, we had to see what it's all about. Come, let me show you. This minimalist 32-inch monitor comes in warm white, but there are two more stunning colors for you to choose from. But my favorite feature, that you can use it without a PC. So you get to work on documents, you get to attend web calls and assess your files wirelessly, all with ease. It also includes a smart TV experience with embedded apps, it's got built-in speakers as well as a handy remote, and if you prefer, you can also quickly navigate with your mouse and keyboard. And with its ultra-high definition resolution, everything on the screen looks so vivid and realistic. It's really ideal for casual watching and precise video editing. With full-screen multi-view, you are able to multitask effortlessly. And if you do have a Samsung phone, you're also able to easily connect wirelessly through Samsung DeX. To explore the Samsung Smart Monitor M8 and other Samsung products, you can check out the links in our description below. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode. When we sat down with the homeowner and understand the brief, we see that it's all about pragmatic planning and it's all about clean lines. Clean lines that define spaces. So we see the opportunity to introduce this unique concept called Serif. We compose strips, lines, grooves and ribbings into a unifying language for this house. This project is about quiet nuances. The entryway is the first pause point that takes you into this environment. The walls are fully cladded in timber, and we custom designed a childwood bench that anchors this first impression. So from the vestibule, one turns into the dining and the living space that are now amalgamated into one. With the kitchen that can be opened up and can be enclosed with a sliding doors in fluted glass. The kitchen really is the heart of the apartment. We conceive of it almost like this lantern that opens and expands into the dining space. The control use of singular material help to blend in the spaces in a way that the wall panelling and the storage look seamless, make the space look less cluttered. The pluted panels for the kitchen is one of my favourite details and what I really love is how light diffuses and refracts through the glass when it's being used. The centrepiece of the dining space is a custom-designed 3 meter dining table which encompasses various functions like a wine cellar, electrical points, and really is a magnet for gathering and for quiet moments. Interestingly, the pendant light wasn't our initial selection. In fact, actually, it was a quirky choice made by the owner. And it turned out to be a really beautiful piece. It has this metallic finish in it that helps to add some diffuse light to the space, which we feel that it works well with some other metallic finish in the house. From the dining and the kitchen, it's a bit more rigid and enclosed. We step into the living room that is more open, airy, and we find that this is an opportunity to see this like a blank canvas that will lightly texture the wall with stucco finishes. Within this open living space, the curation of furniture was critical. Together with the homeowners, we carefully selected every single piece, 
based on the sculptural quality and its textures and form. There was a challenge in planning the location of the air conditioner, so we decided to turn it into an opportunity to design it as a feature. The custom grass screens is our take on the traditional Kumiko. We applied it on overhead storage as a screen for the aircon unit and also on the TV console. The balcony is quite sizable and enjoys great views and natural light and the plants in it give life to the space within. Instead of walking into a long corridor with the doors on the left and the right, we decided to change it a little bit, pushing the master bedroom door outward, which forms a private vestibule so that guests will not walk into the space directly, but the door itself becomes like a feature of the space. We developed the layout for the two bedrooms based on homeowner's brief to have a study and a guest room and a music lounge. And the private spaces are designed to be highly flexible. So we have sliding partitions that defines the lounge come music and the study area. We try not to build in any cabinets in the space to make it feel spacious. So we decided to use the Witsow shelving system that gives great flexibility to the homeowner to configure as they wish. We cladded the walls with acoustic panels to visually soften the space, but more importantly, to acoustically treat the room for work calls and for rest. The walk-in wardrobe is converted from a spare bedroom and acts as an extension to the master bedroom. It's designed to be highly efficient in the galley layout to fit pretty much every single piece of wardrobe and the luggages that they have. And we designed the dressing mirror as a focal point in the room as you walk into it. It has an organic shape, just like some of the piece of furniture in the house. The master bedroom is a simple space designed for the primary function of rest. We first gutted it out. We added wall cladding's and timber textures and half dowels to add rhythm to the space. We designed and curated these materials and lighting to facilitate the sole function of rest. We decided to minimize the words in the bathroom because we think that the function and the aesthetic of it works well with the homeowner's brief. This project is special because it's really different from the other projects that we have. Unlike the other projects, they are bolder and stronger. This is very nuanced and very seamless. It is the end result of a very collaborative relationship and process with the homeowners. Thanks for staying till the end. If you'd like to connect with the designer of this home, visit the link in the description below and find out how you can receive a complimentary $500 Dexto voucher.